Venezuela is suffering from short supplies of daily necessities across the country. Because of that, the government says it will crack down on stores and individuals involved in market speculation and illegal hoarding. Venezuelans have had to head uh, in long lines to buy what they need every day. As a result, a new occupation, queuing up, has appeared. Professional queuers wake up early and late re resell their spot in line or the commodities they purchased to those willing to pay. Residents of the capital, Caracas, say they have to wait for three to four hours to enter store and sometimes find goods sold out once they get inside. Authorities say those stores and individuals suspected of involvement in market speculation and legal hunting will be fined or even imprisoned. At least 15 or 20 are second-hand dealers. I began to line up here at 4 in the morning, and I only bought a bottle of water in the morning. To save money so as to buy the price-restricted commodities, I have no other choice. To tell you the truth, for us who line up only to buy daily food rather than those who are here to resell what they buy, life is really hard. The current situation is really worrying because more and more people have given up their original jobs to turn to the occupation. Why do they do this? The reason is very simple. They can earn more. The market is very depressed and the demand of the residents is very high. So the second-hand dealers get a lot of customers. How to stop the second-hand dealers from resetting commodities? The most important thing is to manage the economy well and give an abundant supply of commodities in the meantime.